I am just stunned that we have moved on from the story of everyone knowing that the president has not been there. For years now, Nancy Pelosi taking over the White House uh, negotiation when it came to the infrastructure bill, and we're just like letting it go. Yeah. Replace it with Kamala well, Harris, but she knows she knew everything. People have been talking for at least a year that he's not really running the show. A couple years. Yeah, a couple years. He's not running the show. So when you see him sitting on the beach, you're like, right. you might do the same thing if they kick sure. you out and you know you don't Why have anything not? else. Except to do. we have a country. Uh, you have Ukraine yeah. who penetrated into not, Russia. That's right. But Israel my, about to be oh, rocketed. But my point he's is, a better he's, angle. Not, he's not running the show. Well, People and behind the scenes are, are making the decision. No, I think he's making a decision. Is it virtual? One of those virtual right. things? You got secret service. Does he even have his iPhone? I with just him? find it interesting that David Plus, Pluff went on Twitter this weekend and uh, was going after Donald Trump saying, Is this a man that you want having a nuclear code? I mean, you got a president that's not even there that has the codes right now. Can you really make that argument right now? Just vacation David on the beach. Plouffe was Obama's campaign, yeah. campaign manager, manager, and now he's helping Kamala. Kamala the the uh, nuclear codes were in one of those. those one of those bags yeah. uh, covered with sand That's right. right there. <laughs> the He'll put them in his garage right. next to the next, next to the, to the car. Corvette. So mm -hmm. the big question is, and Mark Meredith brought this up, where uh, Biden is talking about uh, he will go out on the campaign to support Kamala Harris as watch as however he can. I've been watching. But here's the thing. Does she want him? You got to say no, given no, that his numbers are she underwater. Wants Barack Obama. And that's going to happen, apparently. They've been coordinating that behind the scenes. The only thing that surprised me is they picked Waltz when Barack Obama was so firmly in Josh Shapiro's court. Yeah. So it makes you bring the whole the anti-Semitism thing and that that's marbled into the party. There's two things that Trump has really got going his direction. He's still got a, a, a higher Hispanic vote count than anyone, even over George W. Bush. And the American Jewish vote. Mm -hmm. If you're pro Israel, if you're a Jewish American, you cannot be pleased about what happened to the party you've always voted for. And that's why he's, uh, he's up higher than he's ever been in New York yeah. uh, with he the has Jewish more vote, Hispanic too. And now than he did in the last yeah. election. Right. Right. And, so, and, mm -hmm. and Kamala Harris was told uh, like a week ago before she announced Waltz, she was told by her vetters and the polling people, you can win with any of these three people Shapiro, Waltz, or Mark Kelly. And so then she had the final. Uh, uh, apprentice style uh, interview and apparently Mark Kelly just uh, he was okay he was always going to be the third choice Josh Shapiro seemed like too ambitious immigration. first thing he did was uh, Josh Shapiro said okay so what are my duties what mm -hmm. did my authority be and then Walt said I will uh, I, I don't have to do anything I don't be, have to be the last one in the room I will do anything I, think, Walt, he he will, I think he won't upstage her and right. maybe Shapiro would have and I think she looked at his record and she said oh he votes like I do and everything he's very progressive he's well, right what, what Peggy Nunes said I think is so uh, is so uh, insightful. She said, by picking Waltz, Kamala Harris is saying, I will win with the left alone. Mm -hmm. And if an anti Trumper and a moderate wants to join, you can do it. He goes, but I'm going to mobilize those 18 to 24s who sat on the sidelines right. who weren't. I'll, I'll win with the left. I will not need the middle, and I don't care about Trumpers, anti Trumpers. It's definitely a double down. So, uh, we were tell telling you about the uh, current president, Joe Biden. He's had a lot of time to reflect, he's been on the beach. And one of the things he reflected on. I saw those pictures. It, exactly. Kind of sad. Um, he's been reflecting on the economy. And he says everything is going so well. Watch. How do you want history to remember President Biden? That he proved democracy can work. It got us out of a pandemic. It produced the single greatest economic recovery in American history. We're the most powerful economy in the world. We have more to do. And it demonstrated that we can pull the nation together. Look, I've always believed, and I still do, the American people are good and decent, they're honorable people. When I announced my candidacy to run way back for president, I said, we got to do three things, restore the soul of America, build the economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not the top down, and bring the country together. I mean, well, should we complete Ryan, the rest of the show whispering like that? Ryan said so there must be a sleeping baby in the next room. <laughs> well, you know, he can I'll say... I'll do the interview, but there's children. And we're sure. laughing at what he said about I have a nursery. the economy. He thinks he's responsible yeah. for... I mean, first well. of all, we're, we're far worse than we are 
than we were under Donald Trump. Look at these numbers. Well, he can say what he wants to say. He's a politician. Nobody's uh, under oath there. Well, we'll um, check the numbers. But when you look at, uh, and the left side is the left side, uh, during Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, wage growth has gone down. Uh, inflation is up about 20 percent. And we're taking on much more credit card debt because we can't pay for stuff, at, you know, with actual money. And we got to pay for it over a period of time at a very high interest rate. Right. And the whole thing about him saving the economy, when it was already coming out and he used the rescue plan that many people, including Larry Summers, says would lead to inflation, prolonged inflation, which it did. He had three huge spending programs that he considers a big plus. For the green side of his party, I'm sure they think that. The other big story that's underreported is... I don't know many Irish people that enjoy sitting directly in the sun because as a people, we blister. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why the sun doesn't really shine in Ireland because the skin can't handle it. I mean, my dad used to sit on the beach with a blanket over him. I mean, I was going to try to provide some analysis on the talking oh, point, but sorry. I don't know how I pivot. It's very, I'm just saying, After you Irish people watching this, and... no, you want it, unless it's black Irish. Which is another story about right. the Spanish oh, Armada. That is a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Does this just go back to your ankles and that hair situation? No, my uh, shins. Peter, <laughs> my shins. I turned it. It's facing. This right. Direction. I'm half a tight, so I can go to the we beach. Stop talking long. about my heater. They're going to take it away from me. That's Who's they? I don't know. Someone's going to. The gonna... powers that be. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys done with the distractions? It's like a heated seat mm -hmm. in right. your car. You know, it just adds that right. little extra which comfort. I, which I don't usually put on in August, I that's my point. <laughs> We're all different. Right. But I'm not in different. A, I'm, more, I'm more traditional. I sweat in August with a heater. It's not different. facing you, Brian. <laughs> it's sure facing it me. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.